Hey everyone, if you read the title of this video, then you know what it's all about. I am going to South Korea. I'm so excited. My husband is currently deployed over there and this is the first out of our three deployments that I've ever visited him on a deployment. And I've only actually been able to visit him on training in schools a couple times. So I'm really excited. We've been already separated for about five months now and it will just help kind of crest the end of the deployment before we have a couple months left. And I'm just super excited but this is a kid free trip and for you mamas out there you know that does not happen very often i am so blessed to have childcare during this time and just be able to just savor this international travel as an adult with my husband and just have a really good time that being said i thought i would do what is in my personal carry-on if you guys want to see like outfits and stuff like that let me know but i'm really excited because the last time actually all of the times except for the one time that i flew to see my husband in training like 10 years ago, literally 10 years ago, I went to see him on a weekend trip. I only had one kid and my oldest actually stayed with our grandparents that time. But all the other times, like going to Hawaii back and forth and from Hawaii to Florida because we live there, um, I've always had a baby. And the last time that I flew, I actually flew in 2020 in the middle of the pandemic and I had a nursing baby then too. So you never take a carry on for yourself. You always just have your diaper bag, your nursing supplies, whatever. And it's just kind of like this pack meal moment, but I'm actually going to be able to go with my own stuff and my own entertainment. It's a super long flight. So I bring a lot of things. So stay tuned to see what I bring in my so first, I wanted to say that this is the Delsey luggage set. Um, there's a couple other sets in this luggage, but um, this is the toe. It actually attaches, like you can slide it on the thing. I will do a review over this. This was my anniversary present this year because my husband knew I was going to come see him and we're actually planning on taking a trip together next year for our anniversary. So I needed a nice luggage because like I said, I always, Fly, large family style so <laughs> story time when we PCS which is moving in the military from Hawaii to Florida we had 16 checked items 16 I had four car seats and they're not just like little car seats I have the dino or Diano however you say it car seats so they're like the still framed like legit you know and I had like two totes full of homeschool stuff and then the rest were just like clothes because all of our items were being shipped from Hawaii so it was just it was a mess you guys but anyways we always go large family style so me and my husband have big suitcases the kids share big suitcases we have a suitcase all for shoes so it's just never like this compact i never bring a carry-on i always have a personal item more normally it's a diaper bag and like my purse and uh everybody else has like backpacks with like snacks and ipads or whatever in it and so I never really bring anything for me. So anyways, let's get into it. Went ahead and purchased me a neck pillow. I looked at a couple different ones and we actually have some, but since I'm living here at a temporary place during the deployment, I left some of the things back in storage and our neck pillows were one of them, but we always can use more. So I went ahead and got a memory foam neck pillow. I got the one that can like clip to itself. So, um, while you're sleeping you can like cinch it like it clips and it also like rolls up it came with a little pouch I don't know if I'll have the pouch or not okay so this tote bag has a pocket in the front and in the front pocket I went ahead and purchased a new wallet I carry a concealed and carry purse every day so obviously that wasn't practical for me to take on the trip and I also my wallet that I carry every day was one of those envelope style wallets with like the cash envelopes and stuff like that and I didn't really need that so I went ahead and got me this little wristlet and it has a little pocket for um, cash and all your cards and this idea. I'm not going to take a whole bunch. I'm only taking what I need. The next thing I have is my passport. And now let's get into the inside of this bag. It's really big. Listen, my flight is going to be 15 hours. So I need entertainment. I am bringing my Beats wireless headphones. I am going to try to locate the audix cord because in the event that I do want to watch one of the movies that needs to be plugged in, I need to have the cord and it's around here somewhere. I'm also bringing a water bottle. This was just a dollar from Walmart. Um, 
because you can't bring liquids obviously but I want to stay hydrated and if you have like a water bottle that's you know empty you can fill it up whenever you're in the airport I also have all my liquids um, this is just like my pretty much this is just skincare that's in here I will throw in um, the few items like my foundation and my mascara and things like that in this bag too because you have to have all your liquids in one bag I just had to pause and get the baby to take a nap so I am back uh, anyways I have this bag that came with the um, toe and it's gonna be for my makeup and stuff obviously it's not packed yet because I still have a little while before my trip also gonna be taking this little drink pouch um, it has emergency in it to help from getting sick I'm gonna drink that daily and then I'm also taking my plexus hydrate pouches um, just to stay hydrated and I also put some slim in there whenever I get my new subscription in because uh, my plexus slim because I'm dwindling down I have enough to pack yet um, I'm also taking my pills in here are two little pill containers I picked up from Amazon I thought these were really cute but I wanted to make sure that I took my immune boosters and I'm also taking my plexus um, bio cleanse and my pro bio 5 I don't know if it's just me but I already have one bad gut health <laughs> because of all my pregnancies but on trips I have the worst time like my gut does not like long road trips long flights like any of it so um, I definitely wanted to make sure that one I wasn't like the bloat queen whenever I get off of the airplane to see my husband for the first time in five months and um, that I was taking care of my body while I'm gone because it just wreaks havoc on me to travel like that anyway the next thing I have is a silk eye mask I am going to be flying during the day so it's never going to get dark but it's such a long flight I'm going to try to stay so I'm leaving here in the morning and I'm getting there the next day in the evening because they're a day ahead the travel is just going to be all off so I'm really going to try to sleep on the flight and because it's going to be daylight the entire time I needed to get a mask okay the next thing I have in here is kind of like my I don't want to say COVID pouch but that's what it is anyways uh, these are some cotton rounds for my makeup remover and my um, q-tips for the whole time that I'm going to be there but I also have in here some black disposable masks that I bought because they are still requiring masks in like certain areas in South Korea and I guess there's still a pretty big social pressure for it there um, my husband said pretty much everywhere off coast is still wearing them so um, I bought a like a hundred pack and I'm taking like a whole bunch of them and then I'm gonna leave the rest of them with him because I don't wear them here um, But I also got some Clorox wipes some hand sanitizer and just like some feminine fresh up wipes I figured that I could use these also to like cleanse my face if I get greasy on the flight um, I have also picked up a couple uh, Things for me to do one was a word search. I thought this was really pretty it's like you know outdoor theme duh and it is a like leather bound I picked this up from Aldi you guys just like browsing like their little home goods section my mom there's stuff coming out of here uh, gifted me a journal to take she is obsessed with South Korea so she is really excited that I'm going but she gifted me a little journal um, to take and she also made me some little BTS flashcards because I don't know anything about the group at all but she's like if you see anything take a picture when you're there and it has like cute little like things to keep for my from my travels and stuff like that so I am taking this I am also bringing some books I purchased an audiobook called um, black Indians a hidden history I'm really excited to get into that and I might purchase another audiobook I've been going back and forth from a couple different ones so if you have any suggestions definitely leave them down below I was thinking maybe a year with other grocery store but I kind of want that as like a tangible book so if you have any suggestions let me know but I am going to be taking keeping a family cow and I'm hoping to get through because I'm about halfway through um, Negroes and the Gun, the tradition, the Black Tradition of Arms. I love this book, but it's such a deep read. It's kind of one of those books that I can't just like 
continually read every day. If you know anything about me, know that I kind of treat books like TV shows and I either am binge watching them or I'm just switching from like, you know, I'll watch like an episode of one and then switch to another one and I read and I just have like an ongoing collection of probably four books at one time that I'm reading. The last, well, almost the last thing. Um, I'm bringing my planner. I'm hoping to do some homeschool planning, some social media planning, just planning in general, things that I want to do, trips with the kids and things like that. And then in the back of this planner is a like built-in folder. Um, I'm not going to show you the other part because it's my documents, but you do need certain documents to enter South Korea. I will do a separate video on that because I know that the regulations continue to change and I kept looking for like updated videos. And so I finally got everything besides my last um, PCR test, which is the COVID test before I fly. So I'm really excited to go and get that done. So uh, I have all my uh, documentation and they're printed off. And the last thing I have is actually this little bag. It actually is a little wet bag um, that came with like nursing pads years ago. But I'm going to be putting just some granola bars in here and a couple little snacks um, in case I get hungry. I know that there's going to be a meal on the flight, but chances are I'm going to be hungry. So um, I'm going to put some snacks in here and I'll probably put a couple other snacks, but yeah, that is pretty much everything in my carry on bag, my personal item, I guess, carry on bag. I am bringing this. I am not going to check it. I'm also going to have this as a carry on too. Um, and I've bought a couple little outfits and things like that to wear because like, I am just taken aback by this mom like only travel because normally I'm nursing. So all your outfits go. Everything is just mom mode, right? So I'm really excited just to have some time with it's just being me and my husband and just being able to just enjoy that with just, you know, my own just like outfit expression and just being with him and things like that. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Stay tuned for my Korea travel vlog because I will be trying to vlog. I don't know if I'll just do like one big video that's kind of like, you know, little pieces of every day. Probably that's probably what I'm going to do. But anyways, look forward to that. And have you guys ever traveled internationally to go see your husband or with your husband? Let me know where you guys have been. If you've been to South Korea and you have suggestions that I should go see and do while we're there. Uh, put those down below as well. So thank you guys for joining me and sticking with me through all of this. I love you guys. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.